Good morning, Al Ingalls here at pressure-free.com. I'm going to take you into my paradise here. We've got, some people don't know this, but robins flock in the winter. And here is a robin flock. You might see them kind of moving around in here. They don't all go south. Some of them come together in a flock here in the woods of Michigan. And this is the sec only the second time in my lifetime that I found the, a robin flock and they're all right here. I don't know if you can see them through those trees moving around, but those are robins, which is pretty wild because we often think of robins as a spring coming in Michigan, but they stay here, which is kind of cool. So what is paradise for you? When you, when you hear that word paradise, do you think about having going somewhere like to a beach or an island or, um, it's a place far away. This morning I was musing about that and thinking about it. I thought, you know, I've been living, I live in paradise almost every day. To me, this is paradise. <laughs> My home is paradise. <laughs> it isn't always, but for the most part, I really feel like I live in paradise. And what are the things that take us out of it? Certainly if there's something in your home that um, needs fixing, if there's something in your home that's kind of ugly and you're just tolerating it, you just need to paint something, but you just don't have the gumption to go out and get the paint and do it. Um, one of uh, my new friends where I live now, she painted her door this week and she's just so gleeful about painting her door, which I think is fantastic. You know, this, it's the small things. You can take a look at your home and where you live and start to create a little paradise even in just a little corner of the room. You know, it doesn't have to be the whole room or the whole house, but just a little corner where you start to create a paradise for yourself, a little place where you read or, or just relax, pray, meditate. It's a little paradise. Maybe it's a place where you play. You play games. You do things with the people in your house with you. <laughs> we just finished a puzzle. You'll see it down below here, or I just finished a puzzle that uh, my son and I had started. And uh, before he left for New York and I had to finish it on my own, but puzzle, doing puzzles together, I found is a great intergenerational activity. And you're just sitting there talking, sharing. We put music on and talk about pieces of music and composers and you know, just really have an amazing time sitting, doing a little puzzle. To me, that's paradise. <laughs> and out here, this is just like right out my back door. This is incredible woods in the winter. The things I notice that make it really paradise for me is like the color, the colors of these various plants that are sticking up from the snow. I used to think winter was just gray, black and white. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> there's a lot of color out here. Sometimes we'll come across a branch that's just pure, um, purple or maroon. It's really beautiful. So I encourage you. Oh, I see Judy's here and Lewis is here. Welcome. You know, what is paradise for you? Do you just need to put a little art on your wall? Do you need to fix the toilet <laughs> so it doesn't run? Do you need to maybe get a new bowl that you eat your cereal out of? <laughs> What's a little thing you can do that brings you a little closer to paradise right in your own home. Because a lot of us aren't going very many places these days and, you know, we need to make our home, our sanctuary, our paradise. So that's my little tip for you today because when you're, when you're tolerating a lot of little crappy things, those can trigger your stress hormones and that puts you in fight or flight and we don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to choose my path here. I can go deeper into the forest or I can go around the swamp going deeper into the forest today. Maybe I'll see some deer. So I'm wishing you a great pressure-free day. I was hoping maybe we'd see deer so far and share them with you, but it didn't happen. So have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.